O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, let us pray through the intercession of our dear Mother. Remember, O Most Gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to their protection, implored the help, or sought the intercession, or left unaided, inspired by this confidence, I fly unto you, the Virgin of Virgins, my Mother, to you do we come, before you we stand, sinful and sorrowful, O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer us. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of life. Thank you, Lord, for this great moment. Thank you, Lord, for everyone around me, all those who touch my life, all those who make my day. Bless my near and dear ones. Bless everyone who is on this earth. Lord, as I thank you for the gift of life, I also cherish all the gifts that you have given to me, the talent that you have given to me, the loving and lovable person that you have made me. Lord, I ask you to bless me and all those virtues that I have in me to be bestowed on others by my relationship with them. Today, Lord, I pray for my personal intentions. I pray for my good health. I pray for those deep down intentions which keep on uttering every moment whenever I think of you. There are so many concerns in my life. There are so many worries, tensions, anxieties. Lord, I place them all now at this moment at the Blessed Sacrament, at your feet. Take total possession of me, total control of me. Change my life. I offer all my sorrowful moments, disturbances. Let us pray as we sing 826 on page 13. Come, my friends, let's praise the Lord. Alleluia. Praise the Lord for He is God. Alleluia. Come to Him to give Him thanks. Alleluia. Hail the Lord with joyful songs. Alleluia. For a mighty God is He. Alleluia. He is King of all the world. Alleluia. In his hands a valley is deep. Alleluia. In his hands a mountain peaks. Alleluia. My dear brothers and sisters, let us at this moment pray the Psalm 84. Our salvation is very near. Antiphon 
you will restore our life again lord and your people will rejoice in you alleluia o lord you once favored your land and revived the fortunes of jacob you forgave the guilt of your people and covered all their sins you averted all your rage you calm the heat of your anger revive us now god our helper put an end to your grievances against us will you be angry with us forever will your anger never cease you will not restore again our life that your people may rejoice in you let us see o lord your mercy and give us your saving help i will hear what the lord god has to say a voice that speaks of peace peace for his people and his friends and those who turn to him in their hearts his help is near for those who fear him and his glory will dwell in our land Mercy and faithfulness have met justice and peace have embraced faithfulness shall spring from the earth and justice look down from heaven the lord will make us prosper and our earth shall yield its fruit justice shall march before him and peace shall follow his steps Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen You will restore our life again Lord and your people will rejoice in you alleluia For our scripture reading let us take from Acts chapter 13 verses 30 to 33 God raised Jesus from the dead and for many days he appeared to those who came up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem who are now his witnesses to the people and we bring you the good news that what God promised to the fathers this he has fulfilled to us their children by raising Jesus as also it is written in the second psalm thou art my son today i have begotten thee the word of the lord thanks be to god my dear brothers and sisters let us remain silent at this time as we are going to pray for those who live in sorrows most of the time they feel that their life is surrounded by disturbances by hatred envy and they feel always sorrowful we pray for god's compassion and mercy Let us pray for all those who live in sorrows. Let us raise our hands in thanksgiving and our voices in praises to God. Merciful Father, you are the comfort for our hearts. In the name of Jesus Christ, I take authority over any unhealthy mourning and heaviness attached to the pain. If there is a family pattern of unending sorrow let that pattern now stop touch the greatest grief if unhealthy vows were made in the sorrow bring them to light pour in your healing and forgiveness and release the power of the holy spirit 
In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to comfort all who mourn, to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair, as in Isaiah chapter 61, verses 1 to 3. Begin to praise. Give your sorrow to the Lord as a love offering. Sing to Him through your sadness. Raise your arms in an act of surrender and praise the Lord. Scripture tells us, Weeping may remain for a night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. As in Psalm 30 verse 5. Joy can also come through the morning as you focus on Jesus. Rivers of His sweet presence will flow over you and you will begin to be healed. Amen. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Worship you, Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Spirit of God. Thank you, Mama Mary. Thank you, all the angels and saints. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Worship you, Jesus. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, and but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. God our Father, you open the gates of the kingdom of heaven to those who are born again of water and the Holy Spirit. Increase the grace you have given, so that the people you have purified from all sin may not forfeit the promised blessings of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, with a heart full of gratitude to God, let us bow in adoration as the choir sings the hymn of the benediction and receive God's blessings. Let us bow in adoration to this sacrament so great. Here is the and perfect worship, all the old master be made. Blessed be God, blessed be His holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man.
Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit of Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Amen.